You're getting your chance to get your fucking suggestion in. And we took one of his suggestions, Road Tour. <laughs> Fuck this movie. And I wanted to rotor root my ass after Dude. watching this. Like, that would have been more fun than this fucking movie. It would have been less pain. Dude, four fucking movies in a row that have just been fucking ass. And I blame you. No, don't blame me. The last two blame them. All of them. It's not their fault. It is their fucking fault. Nah. It is no, their it's fucking not. fault. You threw out the gun. You're like, hey, everybody. No, I did not. Sir Jensen, you tell us how it's a comment for a while. And then they ask you, they tell you, hey, uh, you should watch this. And you go, okay. So we watch it. And now we're disappointed. You can't yeah. blame them. It's our choice. I can blame we them. We can choose whether or not we do it, but we did. But we did. Yeah. So here we fucking are. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Rotar starts off with today's headlines. Murder, rape, blah blah fucking murder. blah. Murder. Could they be more more specific? It it's just matter. like murder, rape, fame, famine, whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Uh, Sounds like a new game show. Ma'am. So tomorrow's solution, Rotor. Rotor. Speaking of game shows, did you see that Chuck Willerby or whatever the fuck his name was? Who was the guy that did the dating show? Chuck Woolery? Chuck Woolery. Now, like, now he's, look, like, apparently he's our new infectious disease doctor, as said by Trump. Because he said something, and now Trump tweeted, like, you know what I mean, he retweets it or whatever. And I'm just waiting for him to get, uh, like, Fauci out and put Woolery in. That'd be so great. What oh, is what it? I like it. <laughs> oh. mm. Mm. So anyway, here's the objective of fucking Rotor. Dude, I already don't give a flying fuck, dude. This movie was boring. 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 It's pretty bad, but I actually <laughs> slightly enjoyed yeah. fucking Ouija Shark more than I enjoyed this piece of 80s bullshit. Slight. But, yeah, the thing is, is that um, there was no life in this movie. And None. It, it stemmed a lot from the stupid main character. Speaking of, we now meet our mean, our mean character, our main character, Barrett Cold Iron. My name is Cold Iron. Barrett Cold Iron. Yeah. Yeah, you fucking heard that right. Barrett fucking Cold Iron. At first, I didn't hear it at first, and I was just like, I was like, what? I was like, Beer Bratwurst Ryan, or whatever the Ferret fuck? McBride? What? Ferret <laughs> McBride? Or, you know, like, uh, yeah, I, my name's, uh, 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 uh Conrad, uh, Brooks. uh, I mean, what? <laughs> I wish it was Conrad Brooks, surprisingly. Conrad Coppertone, uh, uh, Stonebanks, uh, or... Uh. So whatever, he's a police robotics expert or something. I'm a captain with the Dallas Police Department in charge of their tactical operations lab. Two days ago, I was considered one of the leaders in the field of police robotics. Today, I'm thought of as a modern-day Dr. Frankenstein. It's a... It's a really because I never saw him pick up a tool to play with the robot at one time in this room. Not one he time. Did. The, he did. He did. When? When? when you, dude, you were on your phone 90% of this fucking movie, so don't say you claimed that you didn't see nothing. He and I saw nothing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, every really. time I looked up, he was on the phone going, get a go, 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 go. That face. That happens that, a lot. That face. He's a girl, 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 but before girl, we get girl. into all that, we get more fucking voiceover. My objective was pure enough to make the streets of the city a little safer. 
where gangs of punks, dope dealers, and the rest of society's scum could be effectively controlled and hopefully eradicated. A controlled army of police robots could stop the slaughter of the hundreds of policemen who sacrifice their lives every year in the protection of those they serve. Like, why did he look like that all the way through the film? Somebody holding a turd under his nose, like, go, go, go. This film was said turd. More voiceover. <laughs> but how do you stop a killing machine gone berserk with only a go button and no compassion? More fucking voiceover! This battle may have been lost. But the war continues. There's just too much at stake to give up now. A way must be found to protect society from itself. He spent more time on his fucking perm, you know. <sighs> so, Big perm? <laughs> dude, I don't want to. Can we just quit? It? Yeah. Can we just be like right now? Okay. Rotar dies. End of movie. Rotar, spelled backwards, is Rotar. <laughs> why do? Why do? Why do our? Our community try to hurt us so badly. Why do they hate us? I know. They're like, I got one that's boring and dumb and will hurt their feelings. Let's let them watch it. I mean, you say we're cool and we're like, man, I love you guys so much. I'm gonna fuck your shit up with this fucked up movie. Oh, dude, I don't fucking care. So blah blah fucking blah. If you like it, these cops, corporate people, whatever the fuck they are, they're interviewing Coldstone. You know that this is an unofficial debriefing. Officially not an arrest questioning. Then please state so for the record, doctor. Unofficially. Officially. Officially. For the record? Or for the mayor? Or the division commander? Or about 12 other high-crotched federales perched behind a two-way mirror? Well, it's our fault. We, we, you know, it was kind of like the you know, um, Field of Dreams type situation, you know. If you watch it, they will come. If we watch it, I will kill well, myself. Well, in Sean Regal's case, if you eat them, he will come. We'll see soon enough, won't we? That might have already been out by now. <laughs> so anyway, blah, blah, pig fucking blah. We get like a breakfasty montage of cold dick getting fucking prepared and ready. fucking horses and he rides around on his horses to all this fucking music and I don't fucking care, dude. You have a nice brew of coffee and a cold dick. Like, I mean, wait, what's that thing? In, don't they have a, a dish called Spotted Dick somewhere? What yeah, like? in yeah. England. In England, yeah. yeah. What the fuck? It's like a fucking cakey type thingy with raisins and shit on it, like a pudding type I'd thing. Not, but not I, our I, pudding. I'd there, try it. I'd eat it, yeah. but I wouldn't tell anybody I did. They'd be like, oh, what'd you Dude, do? I, was, I spotted, I fucking gobbled I down that spotted cock. I mean, dick. I would fucking, yeah, I'd blur that shit out to the world, man. Nom, 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 nom. I ate a lot of spotted dick this morning. <laughs> so... Anyway, dude. Blah, blah, fucking blah. <sighs> Cold brew is in oh, this fucking no. lab. Yes. And, you know, he's explaining Rotar. Is this what your research has led up to? A tin marionette? Not quite. Another scientist, uh, Dr. Steele from Houston, developed a super technology constructed combat chassis out of an alloy. An unknown alloy, simply given an obscure number. <clears throat> I'm Dr. Carl, also from Wilson. What's your intent in some little-known alloy? Is there some good vibration to its molecular tonality you can utilize? Exactly. Watch. Yeah, we basically see Rotar's skeleton fucking dancing. That it? I'm Rotar. I look like Jeff Foxworthy. With not a, yet. With a helmet. We don't see him with his skin yet. Oh, well, when you do, trust me, it's not. Oh, no. No, dude, we missed it all together. We fucked up. I fucked up. I skipped ahead. Shame on me. But before fucking Coldstone 
goes into the fucking talk to these fucking people, right? Right. He walks into the lab where the janitor is dancing with Happy Birthday, Polly. Ah, dude, that this was fucking great. movie's version of Happy Birthday, Polly, Happy birthday, which is a security guard slash cop. It's more fucking paranoid and jittery than C three PO on fucking like weed and shit. Like Master Luke, I'm getting the munchies. So whatever, cool dick. He fucking explains Rotor. I get around, but I've never seen anything like this. This combat chassis has been issued a prime directive, Doctor. Doctor Allen, Jardin University at Malibu. Are you saying this thing could do anything from aerobics to tai chi? Right, it can do karate to full field combat. Uh, Dr. Bruce, Johnston Lab, Zuma Beach. God only knows this is spectacular, but what exactly are we dealing with here? Molecular memory and learning. And then blah blah pig fucking blah, he gets goddamn fucking fired. That's about as far as you're gonna stick it, Earl. You may be so crooked you got to screw your head on. But you're not pulling my strings. No, Cold Iron. I'm pulling your plug. You're off the project as of right now. Let me tell you something, mister. You fire me and I'll make more noise than two skeletons making love in a tin coffin, brother. You bastard. Yeah. By accident of birth, Earl. But you, you're a self-made man. I quit. You run the project yourself, and good luck. Who's your second in command? Dr. Houdling, my assistant. Give him the keys and don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. And then he has a scene with this security guard guy, which is kind of an entertaining, shitty scene. Kind of. Uh, I need to get you down to the uh, range and qualify. It's that time again. What's that, Statum? You want me to go out and shoot targets now? Out to the range? You getting in my face about this, Statum? Right no, now? Is that what you no, want? Huh? No, uh, forget it. I'll just write it in, sir. No need to bother. Uh, I'll just send over another sharpshooter medal. That's all, sir. Sorry, sir. Thanks. Sorry. Were there many entertaining no. times? Because I don't. Blah, 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 blah. So, blah, blah, fucky, blah, Cold Stone Creamery and his girlfriend go out to fucking dinner with this music over top. Dude, he looked like he looked like Paul Hogan if somebody put him in an easy bake oven. <laughs> and leathered no, like a, in a dehydrator and, and just, leathered him up a little just bit. Took him out in the middle of Australia, you know, and, and tied him up, you know, and just let him sit out there and cook. But for he a was while. At, he was also wearing one of those dickish fucking Texas coats, looking like fucking. I know we bring up Dennis Hopper and Texas Chainsaw too a lot, but bring it on! It looked like he stole the coat from Ted Danson in that movie with Whoopi Goldberg. What the fuck was that? Yeah, I know. Made in America. Yeah, yeah. 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 Blah, blah, yeah. fucking blah. This lab dude is hitting on this fucking chick. Shit, baby. Slide me them seven digits. The phone number, mama. you got to give up the phone number. <laughs> hey, baby, look. Here I'm my bad self up in your face. You looking everywhere but here. You think you bad or something? Another white supremacist? And then he's talking about his fucking cheekbones, and this is a interesting line. Another pale face grinding his heel in the poor Indian's face. I thank God my sainted ancestors have gone off to the happy hunting grounds. Ain't around to see this. This <laughs> racism. You're not an Indian. Look at these cheekbones, baby. Either I'm an Indian or I'm a sissy. <laughs> and well, since, uh... I must be an Indian. Nobody even remembers that, that Ted Danson and Whoopi Goldberg dated. I remember. And remember the media was like, oh, 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 oh. Like, you know what I mean? They made such a big fucking deal about it. I care. Well. I think they did so much that them two split up. Well, but also he did the blackface thing at that one roast. She was fucking with I him. I know, but still. I mean, yeah, it's wrong. It's, you know, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you'd probably be looking at your girlfriend like, Nah, I, should, I probably shouldn't do that. You know? <laughs> Whatever, dude. She fucking leaves, and the dude trying to start his music starts up Rotor. <laughs> Rotor.
Spell it backwards. Road but of course, we can't even get Road Tour for quite some more time. I would have because... Road Tour for Christmas, and I never got it. Blah, blah, fucking blah. Cold Stone Creamery is outside this, like, convenience store or whatever, and he goes up to this dude in the car and says this. Change a dollar? Get out of my face, asshole. Look, dirt wad. I'm gonna walk back over to my car. I'm gonna call your license into the cops. But if you can give me change for a dollar, that's gonna give you about 30 extra seconds before I call you in. Comprende, bro? Maybe that guy was just waiting for somebody inside to get some snacks and shit. But he wasn't because dude comes out with a fucking hostage and Cold Stone, he fucking yeah. has this state scene. Easy, crazy. Okay, white boy, you get to watch. You get to watch me blow her brains up and splatter all over the ground. Now, what are you gonna do? You gonna stop me? All you got is a newspaper. I got more than the newspaper. And you get to guess what it is. Of course, in his own fashion, he was like, grr, 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 grr. And then the fucking chick whoops this other dude's ass. So this <laughs> random Austin. She fucking went. This so is fucking Mars Wood. Cynthia Ross. Bitch, anyway, she whooped his ass. <laughs> And then they cut, and I love how in the next scene, there's supposed to be, like, you know, in every scene, like, after a big tussle up or a, a building blows up in the back, yeah, and a good yeah. guy's sitting there in his car, and the chief's like, hey, mayor, should I have my ass for this, man? And there's cops everywhere. Everywhere. And, yeah. This, they can only see one cop, and that's it, and then him. And he, and he gives fucking cold dick some fucking goddamn shit. You ain't no street cop, are you? Why don't you go back to your nice little laboratory and stay there? You're right, Bob. Let us boys out on the streets. Out of the test tubes. Huh? <laughs> sure. Because if I don't handle the test tubes, the streets are going to eat you boys alive. That's right, but they had it at an an at such an angle that Where you, you would think you would think there was yeah. more than people there than it really was. Like nobody cares about fucking gold cream's fucking ass. So blah blah. Fucking blah. Rotar escapes with his VHS vision. Rotar. And then he gets a uniform from his own locker. Oh, he had a locker? Yeah. Takes his own fucking bike and then takes off. To the first gay bar he sees. So blah blah fucking blah. Happy birthday, Polly. Happy birthday, Polly. Makes a Terminator fucking reference. We might as well shut everything down and pull the plug in the vault. We wouldn't want some sort of accident. <laughs> yeah, I got the feeling this is how Terminator got started. Uh, uh. Right. Fuck you. And you're like, do not bring a good movie into your poop crap movie, okay? Fucking bener generic potato. Generic banana. Bernard and Anner, I like goddamn generic potato chips and movies. Uh, so anyway. But anyway, so like, dude, this is the white and black lettering bag of potato chip. Dude, movies. the credits were the most generic, boring credits ever. Let me go back to the opening credits. Look at this. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's no it. graphics. No. no fucking nothing. Nothing. Nothing interesting. No. This movie, nothing I, interesting. But, but I bet. I but I guarantee you though. That the cover, they probably made it look fucking cool as shit. Like, it was like, that dude was sitting there all ripped and shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Gar, 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 gar. I was sitting there all ripped and shit. Some chick was at his leg, like... I like, doubt it. They, big fucking they probably butt, just put a picture of Rotar's silhouette because everything in this movie sucked. This movie sucked. Fuck this. Fuck that. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> wow. Fuck everything. I quit. Yeah, but, like, Rotar what? was cool. F fucking no, Rotar was not cool. Nothing's you cool. You didn't like the slow-moving Jeff Foxworthy Rotar? The whole way through the thing, which is... No, like, burp, burp. I fucking did not, burp, burp. dude. I could have went my burp, burp. entire life without watching this fucking movie. I could have went my entire life without watching any of these fucking movies. Why? Why, 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 why do we do this well, to ourselves? you know, I probably would have been like, you know, give Rotar some credit. No! Hold on now. 
I would have gave Rotar some credit. But up until the point where I found out how vulnerable Rotar well, really is. We're about to find out because blah, blah, fucking blah, Rotar pulls over this fucking couple. That's not exactly what happens, but I don't care about Who details. I was just telling my girlfriend here, you guys are really cleaning up the undesirables in this neighborhood. Cost of force, a restricted grid at an illegal speed. And then just fucking basically instantaneously shoots fucking dude. You guys are tough. In fact, uh, I'm willing to bet you uh, 20 bucks that you're going to give me a ticket. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey! While he was like trying to weasel his way out of it, he's like, oh, how about Rotar wants some money? And Rotar <laughs> yeah. was like, oh, 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 he's like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Rotar Rotar So, uh, Robar goes after this fucking chick, right. she falls onto the horn, and that's Rotar's fucking weakness. I'm Rotar. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I don't care. But anyway, he gets away with Rotar hanging off the side of the car. So blah blah, fucking blah, dude. Rotar busts into this fucking restaurant. I love how girl 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 gorgeous George's haircut was sitting there saying at one point he was like, Rotar's gone rogue. I'm like, dude, Rotar was rogue at the very beginning. You call the senator, and you tell him Rotard walked through a busload of nuns to get to a jaywalker. With malice towards no one, it won't stop. It wasn't ready. Its brain functions are incomplete. It can't think twice, can't reason, can't change its prime directive. It's like a chainsaw set on frappe. You know, he came out rogue. It's not he came out was like, oh, by the law, da da da. He didn't do no Ed 209, you know? At least give you a running start before he blew you away. Anyway. Right. Sorry, you don't want to talk about Rotar. I, I don't. But anyway, fucking Rotar, I have to, but since this restaurant, gets into this deal with the cook. And then grills the cook's face. Like, look, Rotar wanted his eggs over easy, okay? And you fuck Rotar's eggs up and he will fuck you. Well, up. but you know what he will do? He'll stand in the doorway all cool forever. Well, that's what Rotar does, but it's part of his programming. He, whatever doorway, it doesn't matter. Bathroom doorway, that doorway. You know, even if he gets out of the car, he has to try to stand on the rim like, you know, like... Yeah. <laughs> so three random fucking goons come in the door and start shit. Hey, faggot city cop. <laughs> and of course, they all know martial arts and stuff. Uh, Rotar takes off first. And then second. I love, I love the paragraph. I love, I love the, I love yeah. how there's the, the first guy is the test guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? He, he doesn't know what he's getting into, so he just goes right. like, ha, ah, gets his ass taken off. Second I, guy gets like a few. I, I don't know how they convince the first guy that it's going to be okay. Like, okay, man, you just run at him and do whatever, and we'll know what's going on after that. And then he gets to the third, which is always the powerhouse guy. Like, oh, oh, I might he, he's, he's like, look at this, katang, and he pulls his fucking tag top, and it's like, katang, and it just, just fell off. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, dude, was that always like that? Like, you were just around your guys, right. you're like, hey guys, what's up? But it doesn't matter here. Shaking your titties at him. Yeah, dude, I don't care. Blah, blah, fucking blah. Cold Stone Creamery fucking fights Rotar. Fucking blah, cold brew coffee, fucking call skunk muscle lady. If this is Dr. Corin Steele, I'm Barrett Coldiron. It's 5.45 a.m. We've never met, but I need you. I wait at the American Airlines ticket counter in Dallas until you get here. Rotor is out. 
Dr. Still. So we got Dr. Cold Iron, Dr. Still, and where is Dr. Copperstone? <laughs> Dr. Max right. Power. Where's Dr. Copperstone? Right, we gotta get all the elements in there, you know. So blah blah, fucking blah. I don't give a flying fuck, dude. Rotar's in this garage. He charges himself up with jumper cables. I'm Dr. Titanium. Ah! And it gets all fucking stupid, right? And then he even gets more stupid as the garage attendant dude takes off like it's a goddamn cartoon. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You could be Dr. Titanium Alloy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Tungsten. I'm Dr. Tungsten. So blah blah fucking blah. Cold fucking stone goes to the fucking airport, picks up Muscle Skunk. I love how you pause between it because, yeah, I'm trying to figure other words to add on to the cold thing. Yeah. The cold <laughs> we, can, we can only do so many. Cold cream, <laughs> cold brew, cold beer, no blades, no buzz. <sighs> so blah blah chair. fucking blah. Cold. I don't even have the effort to make fun of him anymore. Cold, cold steel, cold, cold, iron, iron, cold iron is in the car with Muscle Skunk Steel, and they're talking about, I don't know, probably Rotar. Who fucking cares? His arch enemy, Warm Plate. We built the perfect lawman. The one who could walk into the streets of blood, the cities of fire, the, the edge of destruction, and function perfectly again and again. And already, look what's happened. Human error. Now I've got to bring him back in. You know it's impossible, don't you? Yeah, maybe. Cold iron and blah blah oh, fucking oh, blast. Some shit happens, but it does not fucking matter. Rotar drives off a cliff. Rotar, you're so goofy. Rotar. Blah, blah, fucking blah, Rotar. I'm Rotar. The Muscle Skunk, <laughs> they fight in the water for a while. The Muscle Skunk? And then what? they fight on land for a while. Buy me one more minute. Dude, was I really not paying attention? There's a muscle skunk in there? Yes. Oh, wait, the lady muscle skunk. Yeah. Right, right. So her and Rotard, they went at it, right? Yes. Okay. Blah, blah, more fight. Blah, blah, more fight. I do remember it. It was lame. It wasn't worth talking Well, the other thing we're talking about is Rotar gets her up and she rips his fucking chest open and the she video did. gets all fucking stupid again. <laughs> and then, you know, the other chick honks the horn. So, uh, they are able to tie up Rotar to draw and quarter him. But they, like, you know, start to pull away. He just explodes. Well, they use, like, one of the party poppers, you know, with the string on the end. You're like, pop! Yeah. You know, that's all you had to really do is they had it around his neck and they just... And his arms and legs. Yeah. But anyway, so, blah, blah, fucking blah. Cold uh. Stone Creamery is at the goddamn office or whatever, and he's at his interview. He right. basically tells uh. them to fuck off. He's leaving. I'm going to leave my report in my office. After that, I got a ranch. I got a horse. I got a pretty girl. And like you, I got a future. One day at a time. So he's walking across the parking lot. Then this dude, which we never brought up. Well, he was in there. He was in it. Ends up shooting and killing Cold Stone. He had an argument with Cold Brain. It doesn't fucking earlier, matter. And, 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 and earlier he was like a guy. He was a business guy. who had an argument with fuck nuts. And he was like... And it must have been a pretty harsh argument because yeah, he just blew him away in front of a police station. Yeah. yeah, and said some shit and just started walking away. Well, and then a yeah. little, and some time passes, and then Cold Stone Creamery's fucking nephew gets like all of his papers and like an inheritance and all that fucking yeah. shit. We are sorry to inform you of the sudden and tragic death of your uncle Barrett C. Cold Iron. Heroically, he gave his life in the line of duty. As you are his only heir, his papers and personal effects will be forwarded to you. Again, 
We deeply regret the loss of your uncle and share your grief. Sincere condolences, Earl G. Bugler, Division Commander, Dallas Police Department. And most of it was garbage. They didn't give a fuck. So they just tossed it in the local garbage can. As we get fucking money. voiceover and shit. The Journal of Brett Coldiron, 11 13 87. Six weeks later, I received my late uncle's journals, along with a substantial cash inheritance. In his last notes about the rotor incident, my uncle wrote, I hope we'll learn not to fear our technologies, but to fear the people who use them. I personally feel that when he created the perfect police combat unit, he deleted the very special quality law enforcement was founded on. Human mercy. Credits. Yeah, voiceover that we didn't care about. Credits, credits that we, we didn't, didn't care, care about. This whole movie oh, we God, didn't fucking yeah. care about. Fuck this we movie. Fucking, you know, yeah, dude, fuck this movie. And you wonder. What? What do you mean? And not you. And you wonder why all these years you might have suggested movies and we never did them. And you might wonder why. Now you know why. <laughs> You're like, why don't you do my movie? It's like, because we don't want to lose our mind. <laughs> but we did, so it's over. <laughs> dude, we need something next month, dude. Oh, oh. We got it. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> something of our picking, though. Yes, obviously, but also, I Sorry, think folks. Marshall August should be coming up really soon, but I don't think we're going to do it this year. What? Yeah. Me, you just talked about this downstairs. Were you once again not I paying attention know. at all? I get it. I ain't right. Everybody's canceling everything for COVID. But, well, I'm not. Marshall Augers will go on. No, it won't, because you're not going to be here, and I can barely get you to watch five-minute things to do fucking Skype episodes with. So, yeah. What? That's... Horse hockery. Dude, on Dude. that though, okay, fine. You're turning into how a many f- oh, no, How many times during those Skype episodes I was like, did you watch it? And you're like, no. But I'll figure it out as you're going along. That's fake news. No, that is fucking I don't even say real news. Fake news. <laughs> I watched every single movie. Uh-huh. Every time. Uh-huh. Some say I watch so many movies. They I watch too many. On that note, Forgot Her Bird has been another one of the worst I suggestions did. on I YouTube. Did. We'll see you later. Boy, we don't even have anything for the outtakes. This movie killed our souls so fucking much, we got nothing for the outtakes. Nothing. Oh! No bitching, no moaning, no complaining, well, no nothing. Technically. Just soul dying. Technically, I just moaned about my ass. Well, you always moan about your ass because you put so many dicks in it. <laughs> Stop putting so many dicks in it, you would have a problem hey, with your ass hurting. You have your things and I have mine. Yeah, I know. I know you love the dicks, but dude, every once in a while... Moderation, dude. Everything in moderation. Look, mine are smooth dicks. You like to go... You're, smooth I, dicks? You're harsh about it. You like to put pineapple up there with the bristles. 